It's the 15th of June 2011. We're in South Africa and tonight is going to be one of the longest observable lunar eclipses ever seen. Now I do not, do not know if you can see on this picture that the bottom of the moon has started to go darker. It's a dark patch at the bottom of the moon. Right about 20 past 10 tonight the whole moon will be red and that will be the full eclipse of the moon. It is now 28 minutes past 8 at night and with the naked eye there is a clear dark spot at the bottom of the moon that can be observed. Now looking through this viewfinder of this camera I cannot see a difference. So we hope for the best once we transfer this to the computer. Maybe we can see something. But it is the 15th of June 2011 in South Africa. The solar eclipse, oh sorry, the lunar eclipse is continuing. And again with the naked eye you can see round about almost a third or a quarter perhaps on the bottom side of the moon covered by the shadow of the earth. Well, it's now quarter to nine and again with the naked eye I can see that the moon is almost covered halfway. Whereas on this camera screen I can see no difference, it just looks round. So maybe the light is just too bright for this silly little camera of mine. Well it is nine o'clock now and uh, a huge amount of the moon is indeed now covered already. The problem is that you can see most of it with the naked eye. The bottom half is now basically like a brownish color and uh, just a little bit of the top of the moon is still uh, uh, white and clear so the moon is almost covered well at last it seems like we can see a difference in the moon through the viewfinder of this camera and as you can see it is almost completely covered now and soon the moon will turn red. A little speck in the sky. That is such a huge impact on our world. That is the moon, almost completely covered. And so the, um, our moon is almost completely done. Unfortunately I have to zoom in quite a lot to see it and I'm a little bit shaky. Sorry about that. I think this is quite a cool event. Something that we can observe right now. I love it! In about another 35 minutes, the moon will be turning completely red. It's going to become quite dark before it becomes red. Apparently it's going to look quite spectacular. So I really can't wait for that to happen. So the lunar eclipse is just about over. It's around about 11 o'clock at night. And there it is. The light is now starting to shine at the bottom of the moon where the shadow originally started. This has been quite a long process. Trying to keep tabs on this thing changing over the night. It's been difficult.
And so the lunar eclipse has come to an end. So that's it, folks. No more to be seen, really. It's done.